Hey everyone, Riaz here with Cockpit 3D. We're gonna do another Cockpit 3D short where we crank it out in four minutes or less. This one is for 360. I know that my model needs a crystal size that's going to be a 150 by 60 by 60. I'm going to rotate my ship 90 degrees so it fits the crystal well. I'm then going to auto size it and it looks great. Now, one thing as an artist is you wanna look at it from the top and what you might wanna do is just scale it down a little bit and actually rotate it. And the reason for this is because it will make it appear as though the vessel is sailing right out of the crystal from the front angle over here. The next thing that we wanna do is we wanna um, choose our settings. Normally our X, Y is 07, our Z is 07. In this case, because points are being casted from all around at 360, we set it to 08. 1, 6, um, and that will prevent cracking. Normally you have your uh, rasterizer set to projection or portrait, so I'll do that first actually, and I'll click on go just to show you the difference. So when you're doing portrait or projection, the camera is creating points for what it can see. In this case, it can see the front, but it can't see the back, so you're missing all the data over here. And that's where the power of X-ray comes into play. So X-ray is going to look through the entire model in Cockpit 3D and seamlessly generate your point cloud for you all the way around. You wanna set your layers as normal to eight layers. Your Z factor is gonna be two. It has an inverse relationship with your Z layer. So if your Z layer is normally 0 0.07, your Z factor goes up to five. If your Z layer goes down from 0.07 to 0.16, or sorry, up from 0.07 to 0.16, your Z factor goes down, right? So in this case here, that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that our Z factor goes down because our Z layers went up. We're gonna click on OK and we're going to regenerate this one here. And you should see points from all the way around. There we go. Now, the other thing that I wanna do is I wanna talk about um, the direction. So right now I've set my direction to front. Um, for the way that the points are casted. So here, if we take a look, we'll see that the direction is front. It makes it look best when you're looking at your crystal from the front. However, let's say for example, the client wants it to look best for when the crystal is viewed from the right, which is that side there. Let me just rotate it slightly here. And I'm gonna click on go. And although it looks great to you right now, watch, it will get actually sharper from the right angle. Three, two, one, there you go, right? So it does look sharper when you render it um, if you choose the right angle, but it makes the front a little more fuzzy. So that really is up to you. All right, a few more things. Uh, you do have the option of multi-projector surface normal. So um, this really is just a different way of casting points. You gotta try it out. Different models will turn out better or worse with these different settings. Multi-project will project points from three directions, um, either the top or bottom, either the left or right, either the front or back, whatever is most optimal. It does the calculation for you. You just select multi-project, click on go and watch the results. Surface normal casts points from the direction of every polygon in the model. So again, you just gotta try it out and decide what works best for the model that you're working on. Finally, fill solid is native. So you'll notice over here, we have two different textures. Many models that uh, you send to us might have multiple textures. That's the power of Cockpit 3D, is that it's enabling us to generate a beautiful rendering with light baking textures into your model to make it look so real. However, there are some models that might just look good white, in which case you click on fill solid, click on go, and it will ignore the texture. Sometimes you might get models from your customers that you send to us to provide you as a scene file, in which case your customer might not actually have texture. So you can use the fill solid tool and that will just generate your uh, model in pure white, as it used to uh, before the days of texture. I hope that helps. And that's Cockpit 3D X-Ray 360.